When morning came, the chief priests and all the elders of the people met in council to bring about the death of Jesus. They had him bound and led him away to hand him over to Pilate, the governor. When he found that Jesus had been condemned, Judas, his betrayer, was filled with remorse and took the 30 pieces of silver back to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned, I have betrayed innocent blood. They replied, What is that to us? That is your concern. And flinging down the silver pieces in the sanctuary, he made off and hanged himself. The chief priest picked up the silver pieces and said, It is against the law to put this into the treasury. It is blood money. So they discussed the matter and bought the potter's field with it as a graveyard for foreigners. And that is why the field is called the field of blood today. The words of the prophet Jeremiah were then fulfilled, and they took the thirty silver pieces, the sum at which the precious one was priced by the children of Israel, and they gave them for the potter's field, just as the Lord directed me. Jesus then was brought before the governor, and the governor put to him this question, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus replied, It is you who say it. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he refused to answer at all. Pilate then said to him, Do you not hear how many charges they have brought against you? But to the governor's complete amazement, he offered no reply to any of the charges. At festival time, it was the governor's practice to release a prisoner for the people, anyone they chose. Now there was at that time a notorious prison whose name was Barabbas. So when the crowd gathered, Pilate said to them, Which do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For Pilate knew it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. Now as he was seated in his chair of judgment, his wife sent him a message. Have nothing to do with that man. I have been upset all day by a dream I had about him. The chief priests and the elders, however, had persuaded the crowd to demand the release of Barabbas and the execution of Jesus. So when the governor spoke and asked them, which of the two do you want me to release for you? They said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, but in that case, what am I to do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said, let him be crucified. Pilate asked, but why? What harm has he done? But they shouted all the louder, let him be crucified. Then Pilate saw he was making no impression, that in fact a riot was imminent. So he took some water, washed his hands in front of the crowd and said, I am innocent of this man's blood. It is your concern. And the people to a man shouted back, his blood be on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas for them. He ordered Jesus to be first scourged and then handed over to be crucified. 